आई वेलकम यू ऑल टू इन क्रेडिबल इंडिया एज टूरिज्म मिनिस्टर्स हैंडलिंग आ सेक्टर वर्थ ओवर टू ट्रिलियन डॉलर ग्लोबली इट इज रेयर दैट यू गेट ए चांस टू बी ए टूरिस्ट योर सेल्फ बट यू आर इन गोवा a major tourist attraction in india so i urge you to take out some time from your serious discussions to explore the natural beauty and the spiritual side of goa excellencies our ancient scriptures have a saying atithi devo bhava meaning guest is god and that is our approach to tourism our tourism is not just about sightseeing it is an immersive experience whether it is music or food art or culture the diversity of india is truly majestic from the high himalayas to dense forests from the dry deserts to beautiful beaches from adventure sports to meditation retreats india has something for everyone during our g20 presidency we are organizing nearly 200 meetings in 100 different locations all over india if you ask your friends who have already visited india for this meeting I'm sure that no two experiences will be alike. Excellency, in India, our efforts in this sector are centered on preserving our rich heritage and at the same time creating world-class infrastructure for tourism. One of our focus area is on developing spiritual tourism. After all. India attracts pilgrims of every major religion of the world. After the infrastructure upgrade, the eternal city of Varanasi, just one of the major spiritual centers, now attracts 70 million pilgrims, a tenfold increase from earlier. We are also creating new tourist attractions such as the Statue of Unity. At the tallest statue in the world, it attracted about 2.7 million people within a year after it was built. In the last nine years, we have placed special emphasis on developing the entire ecosystem of tourism in the country, from transport infrastructure to the hospitality sector to skill development, and even our visa system. we have kept the tourism sector as a focal point of our reforms the hospitality sector has great potential for employment generation social inclusion and economic growth it employs more women and youth compared to many other sectors i am glad we are also recognizing the relevance of tourism sector for speedy achievements of sustainable development goals excellency we are working on five interconnected priority areas of green tourism digitalization skill development tourism msme and destination management these priorities reflects indian as well as the global south priorities we should make greater use of emerging technology like artificial intelligence and augmented reality to drive innovation for example in india we are working on using artificial intelligence to enable real time translation of the wide range of languages spoken in india i believe that collaboration among governments entrepreneurs investors and academic can accelerate such technology implementation in tourism we should also work together to help 
our tourism company increase their access to finance each business regulations and invest in skill development as i said it is said that tourism divides but tourism unites indeed tourism has the potential to unite people from all walks of life creating a harmonious society i'm happy to note that a g20 tourism dashboard is being developed in partnership with unwt it will bring together best practices case studies and inspiring stories it will be a first of its kind platform and will be your enduring legacy i hope that your deliberations and the goa road map would multiply our collective efforts to realize tourism's transformative power the motto of india's g20 presidency vasu dhaiv kutum kam one earth one family one future can it self be a motto for global tourism excellency india is a land of festivals we have festivals around the year all over the country in goa the san juo festival is coming up soon but there is another festival that you must visit the festival of democracy in the mother of democracy next year india will hold its next general election for over a month nearly a billion voters will be celebrating this festival reaffirming their abiding faith in democratic values with more than a million voting booths there will be a no shortage of places for you to witness this festival in all its diversity i invite you all to visit india for this most important of global festivals and with that invitation i wish you all success in your deliberation thank you